horticulturist Tina Sutherland O'Kane here for Gardens on the Go. Today I'm going to show you how to winterize your rain barrel. Now it's important in the winter time before the weather freezes that you make sure that you disconnect your rain barrel from the downspout and you want to put a temporary downspout that moves the water away from your house. You don't want water in the barrel also because that could freeze and then that is liable to crack the barrel. The first thing you want to do is you want to empty your rain barrel. So I've undid obviously the, the spout, I've connected my hose and I'm draining it down. Now if you can use it, use up the water, but for these purposes is we're just going to drain it um, we're just going to drain it out and the next thing you want to do is you want to disconnect it from the, the downspout already and then take this is always fun and take the top off of the lid we're going to undo the lid and actually for these purposes you can just store it this way you don't have to disconnect the the spout. You want to remove the screen because what happens is, see all that sediment that filters out of the water? That collects and you want to make sure that you dry that out. Or actually you could toss it and get another screen next year, a clean screen. So I think we're going to do that. Reattach the downspout. Pull out the extension away from the house so water doesn't back up. When you're cleaning the barrel, you want to make sure that you hose out the spigot so you remove any sediment that it may have settled in. So now I've disconnected the rain barrel, I attached the downspout to the house, I rinsed out the rain barrel and cleaned it thoroughly, uh, removing any sediment that may have built up. And what we're going to do is we're going to store it in the shed for the winter season. I'm horticulturist Tina Sutherland-Ocane. See you next time for Gardens on the Go.